Hello everyone, so this is, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, joined here with Taki Senpai and Dunehammer Gaming, and we're just playing some EU4 for fun. So, any discussion we have, well, it's up for grabs. Whatever happens, happens. And I'm playing Castile, and they're playing, Taki, you're playing Florence. Yeah, and Dune small is playing boy. Scotland? Oh, yes, the glorious. Yeah, Freedom it's cool. Mentioned. Freedom. Uh huh. Freedom, hmm. Ali, we'll, we'll see how free you'll be able yeah, to remain. I might invade Scotland at some point. <laughs> yeah. Well, I might actually yeah. also invade Scotland. That sounds like oh, fun. No. Maybe we should turn up. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, Taki, can, can you hear Dune okay? Because he sounds a little soft to me. Uh, I can hear him fine. Huh. Oh, I. Mr. Mocha is lagging behind. Oh, you oh, better am. Oh, it's not assuming genders. Cool. It's very progressive. Cool. Uh, Portugal, would you like an alliance? Uh, sure. Sure. Let's see if I remember how to play this. Oh, Why France the rivalry. Already... Come on, man. Come Wait, on, France. Wait, Lithuania an alliance? Yes, boy. Why does the Pope already hate me? I haven't even set anyone on fire just yet. What the hell? <laughs> uh, I don't want France as a rival. <laughs> Wait, Where I have no legal heir? Oh no. Come on, let's get Mad Shaggin. That's what Scott's are good at. <laughs> Mad Shaggin. That's also my nickname in high school. Mad Shaggin <laughs> Dragon? Oh. Uh, let's try two speed, maybe. Cool. Now, how do I play again? It is always, you know. A bit difficult to get back into it, I feel like. You know Especially what? Dude, I'm not going to invade Scotland. England rivaled me, so. Oh! <laughs> well, in that case, I was going to say I could not lie with you, but yeah. Looks like you'll be best friends now. We're going to be best buddies. Oh, that's so cute. The two S's. Spain and Scotland. I'm not really sure how I feel about two S's. And Florence. <laughs> <laughs> Florence. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. My S is silence. So, so, what do we do with the, like, crown land? Like... Oh, uh, yeah. They changed it up, the estates. The thing is, the more crown lands the nobility, well, the other estates own, the more disadvantages you have. You can, every five years or so, you can seize some land off of them, which mm -hmm. is probably what I'll do. But if you do that and they become disloyal, there's going to be rebellions. Mm. So you oh. got to be able to balance it uh, in order to see that, uh, you know, you get enough crown land back under your control, while not, you know, uh, while uh, also keeping them happy so you don't get unnecessary revolts. Hmm. Okay. So, generally, if you're in a stable position, I would say just seize some land. Because you do get some nice bonuses out Because oh, I have some penalties to it right now. Yeah, yeah. In that case, you should definitely seize the land. Alright. Big thing we're going to do. Give me your land. You can also get uh, political uh, power points um, by giving your uh, estates uh, privileges. For uh -huh. example, I can get one diplo point per month extra if I give them, um, if I take this uh, edict or you know privilege, it will lower their loyalty and uh, crown land or whatever. But it will mean that I get one point extra each month, so that might be helpful. Hmm. Oh no. I have a Catholic zealots. Aren't we Catholic already? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. only Catholic and Orthodox, but we we are uh, not really close to the Russian boys. Yeah, I know, but why do I have rebels in my country that are Catholic? Yeah, like Wait. is there Catholicism too oh. or something? I mean, it's Spain. Maybe they think you're not Catholic enough. Wait, did you just see some? Did you see his land there? Maybe. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, hi. Your clergy is probably disloyal uh, after you see okay. it. When they become disloyal after you see something, rebels will start spawning. Okay, that makes sense. Uh... Oh, inflation's going up? Why? Is it because of gold? It's because you have gold problems, yeah. probably, right? Probably. I'm not really paying attention too much. I am trying to refresh myself. It's been like a week or two since I've played EU4. <laughs> I'm still a noob, so don't worry, he'll still do better than me. I'm hoping that Taki can form Italy and then just carry us. <laughs> yeah, just, carry us. Yeah, just come over to England and just kill them and give me all the land, I don't know how much we'll be able to accomplish in like a few hours, but uh, let's let's give it a go. Yeah. Oh, since I'm France's 
somebody at this point. I wonder if I can take some land off of England when they go to war with each other. If they go to war with each other. <laughs> Doom freeze, huh? Wait, what did you just say there? Is it Doom Freeze? Doom Freeze. Doom Freeze. Doom Freeze. Doom freeze. Dump freeze. Or as I like to call it, Dump Freeze, because it's a dump. You said it, now oh, no. don't know. Right, right, right. Oh, war's happening. Oh, they've called me in. Ah, oh. oh, yeah. First war. Well, no, they've, they've you, asked me. You can refuse if you want to. You'll get a truce, uh, though. Do you know what? What's the worst that can happen? A die? Scotland Burns, again. Scotland Burns. I mean, you have a, you have a, a fort in the front line somewhere there, right? Yeah. So you should be fine. The AI can't really handle having overseas territory the way that England does, so they'll probably get stack wiped a few times over on the mainland. And with a bit of luck, you might even get some land out of it. But I, I'd, I'd play on the defensive if I was you. Don't, oh, don't push okay, into right. <laughs> Were you trying to push in? No, don't mind me. I definitely wasn't pushing in or anything. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Highlanders are alive. Oh, uh, uh, alive, arrive. Oh, if if you uh, look at uh, the bottom right side, do you see that war icon thingy, right? You yes. can uh, inspect it and uh, look at how many people are in the war and how many you know troops there are on each side. If you notice England is getting pretty low down there, you can afford to be a bit more aggressive. But until then, I'd suggest you. <laughs> Just defend um, and wait for England to implode on itself. Yeah. If I have an heir wow. that's zero zero zero, should I just get rid of him right now? Yeah. Oh yes, get rid of Enrique. Kill him. Oh. Disinherit him. He is trash. Jesus Christ! I... Oh man, I could make a baby that has more skill than that guy. Just, I'm not even sure he knows how to breathe. <laughs> He's literally useless. Wait. So when my guy oh no dies. Oh no! I'm gonna get absolutely slaughtered here. I think. This will be a succession war between Aragon and England. Please make a baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, Juan. Juan the second. You can increase your chances of um, getting a baby by having royal marriages, so I'd suggest you royal marry some of your allies. We won the Battle of the Freeze! No, no way! Yeah, that's right. You run away, bitches. Uh, oh, I'm trying to build a spine rook, too, in Granada. Hmm. Probably can't afford going to war yet, so... Stay. All in due time. Yes, yeah, that's like that's... Uh, Aragon, would you like to have a baby? <laughs> just, just befriend the, the Austrians, then you'll get a Habsburg. Oh, okay. I feel lucky. Mm -hmm. We can't marry them. <sighs> can't ally them. Befriend. Can I marry the Pope? Marry the Pope. <laughs> no, you, you can't. Some government types aren't allowed to do that. Oh, well, it could be boring. an illegal marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can get the Pope pregnant. I've tried. Oh. Wow. Wait. <laughs> oh. And that that's CK2 if you want to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll I'll have sex with you. There you go. You happy now? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> He's upfront about it. What he likes. <laughs> prove relations with these yeah. guys good. I'm trying to prove relations with the Pope because that's one of my missions so people won't be pissed off at me mm -hmm. my lands. Uh, mm, yeah. Actually, I could be okay. an ally of the Pope. Hmm. Sounds kind of yeah. risky. Surprisingly enough, the Pope is kind of aggressive sometimes in this game. And he actually expands from time to time. Cool. Now I have too many relations. God dang it. Um. Hmm. Well, oh well. I need to find myself some allies as well. Hey, buddy. Oh. How you doing? Galley combat ability, ship trade power, probably. Oh, oh here comes round two in Dumfries, maybe. Oh, are you fighting? No, I've I've already bet them once. But, oh, they're ta they're taking that fort. Oh well, the forts are only the ones with uh, actual buildings on top of it. If they okay. just take a problem, if it's just sieging straight up to a hundred percent, that's just a regular province. It doesn't have a fort. All right. But if okay. you have a fort next to it and they're not sieging it, it'll just flip back to you. So you don't really have to worry about it too much. Good, good. I'm just gonna defend them freeze then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's the one with the fort. And if they attack you in there, they'll they'll suffer a hill spend penalty. Oh, that's why they're thirty thousand lost before. <laughs> Even even if they siege it down, well, if, if they're in the process of sieging it, 
but you attack them, cause the fort is still under your control, they'll still suffer the hill penalty, even though you are attacking them. Oh, right. Um, Franz, can you hurry up and, you know, come over here? That'd be nice. If I go to war with Morocco, we are about even in terms of military strength, and none of my allies would come in. They have Granada on their side. You can get Granada in. Although, I think you might even get them, get some claims. If Hopefully. you look at your mission tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prepare Reconquista. Uh, yeah, that's the one, probably. I need a navy size at least 100%, army size at least 100%, manpower is at least 60%. Good uh, lord, we're gonna be here for a while. I'm, How I'm... big is your navy? You can, you can make some trade ships if you want, they're fairly cheap. The man said trade ships, we shall do it. Right, I have a bit of an issue, I'm going bankrupt. Uh, what, what do you mean? Well, I'm losing, I'm losing money. Oh no, they're coming to attack. How bad is it? You uh, usually hemorrhage money while you're trying to reinforce your armies. It, yeah. Uh, once it, once they're fully reinforced, you don't really pay as much for them anymore. Did you raise war taxes? Yes, I did. Oh no, I think we're going to lose the Battle of Dumfries. If you have to, you can retreat. That's totally fine. They'll keep sieging. Oh, we lost. Just uh, retreat, reinforce. Because they're in your territory, their reinforcement rate is going to be lower than yours, so you could probably uh -huh. out-reinforce them and try another attack if you feel up to it, if you feel like your troops could uh, defeat them. Oh, no, I just I just want to get to bloody Edinburgh. No, why did you retreat all the way up to the north? Uh, this was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where do I Need some purpose? funds? Hey, I've still done 23. Of, it's, we're still in favor of winning this, which is Wait, what? good. I mean, you should be doing just fine, I think, eventually. They, they can't sustain this, both against you and France. You have loans. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, you need some money. I should probably Here. be collecting yeah, in Sevilla. I, I do need some money. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Right? That, that only makes sense. Uh, is it your home trade node? Uh, Wait one second. Uh, that yeah, you should. Home trade. Main trading port. Uh, yeah, main trading port. That's yeah. You should collect in Sevilla and uh, transfer um, from the nodes that you have most control in. Safi is probably the one that I have the most control yeah. in right now. So that's probably for the best. And once you start colonizing, you'll probably be able to transfer from the New World into Sevilla. Nice, cool. Nice. That should be better. Oh, I take it minus means they're doing crap, yeah. Like on the, the siege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh. get a chance to take it once it goes positive. And each tick, it has a chance to improve. You, you can, if you click on the province and you hover over the minus percentage, you can see what their chances of improving. They have to roll like a d20. Wait, for <laughs> if it's a or... Oh god, England's getting bummed now. Yeah, they, they've lost the mainland already. Oh, I might actually counterattack them in my in the siege. We've almost got the same size army if I was to attack them. What are we doing over here? Nothing? Hanging out? Having a good time? Cool. Yeah. No, we've reinforced. Let's do this. Hello, England. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right, 16,000, 16,000. I think we can do this. As they move in our 10,000. No, actually. Oh, we're in, we're in, we're fighting. There we go. England has got a gift from the Pope. Hmm. Yeah. A small sum of dollars. Nice. Oh, you cheeky sons of guns. Hmm. I think I probably just killed the whole oh. population of Scotland now. <laughs> They're all dead now. Increasing your stability. I mean, like, uh, or when you're negative, usually. Because I'm, I'm when zero you're right if... now. Would it be worth it to increase it? No, usually not really. Unless you're suffering big unrest issues or something, there's no point really. Okay. It, it naturally increases with the events, and you can even, if if you improve relations with the Pope, uh, you can get more. Uh, Papacy points. If if you look at the bottom right, there's like two things. Once for the Holy Roman Empire. I can. The other buy, ones for the papacy. I can buy like indulgences. Yes, please. Yeah, you can buy whatever you want. You can buy stability. You can buy mercantilism. 
Yeah, yeah, with the, even... with the poke points. But the, the, yeah, yeah, now the you can points. even just spend money to buy indulgences. Enrich uh... gain one yearly papal points for five years. Hell yeah. Oh, the Pope likes money, huh? Pope needs his golden, I don't know, Bowls. shower, I guess. Golden shower. I don't know what he's into. Probably he's into some kinky shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Pope and... Pope be doing Pope Chil stuff. Pope be doing children. <laughs> Taki said it, not me. <laughs> I'm not a choir boy. <laughs> Thankfully, neither am I. That would be a pain in the ass. Crap, my man, for. Oh, God. So, for, like, ideas. Like, we're not even close to getting that first idea yet, but what do you think would be good? Like, I'm supposed to be going to be probably making Spain eventually. Probably go colonialism. Uh, yeah, expansion would be for the best because you have, like, two col colonists that you get out of it. Yeah. Um, though, I'd, I'd focus on admin points then in your case. Because usually what I do is go for a diplomatic ID group when I'm not a colonizer. Because hmm. you tend to have most points laying around in Diplotech okay. anyway. So, you know, you, might, you could uh, quickly go through all of your ideas in that way. Uh, but in your case, I'd say expansion ID is probably for the best. You get a colonist instantly. Or no, actually, no, I never mind. They, they actually already changed it. Uh, I think, yeah, no, you need exploration. Yeah. Because you want to explore with your boats uh, and, you know, actually be able to discover America. And that's the yeah. only one that actually gives I that. want big colonies. Thick colonies. <laughs> so, uh, definitely go for that Deploy ID group. Cool. Ooh. Do actually, you do normally you have... train your armies, or...? When you're not doing anything, you might as well train them. I'm training them right now. Unless you need the money. In that case, Wait. you can just, um, stop cool. spending it on army how, maintenance. How, how do you train divisions? This is Jay. If they have they an army, need, yeah, uh, they need a, a leader first, a general. Oh, the siege of the freeze is over. Okay, come come further north, bitches. Uh oh. Talking like have another Scotsman. Do we have another fort uh, laying there? Oh, okay. I think they're just walking over to Ulster. Oh, you you have no more forts. No, I do. I, I I'm sitting on. Are you a capital fort, maybe? Yeah, my capital. Oh, but that's not a true fort. That's just a fort because it's the capital. Oh. They they don't get the movement restrictions the way they do on regular forts. Hmm. Sure, there's only two thousand here. Let's kill them. Be careful though that they don't, um, you know, force with the, their bigger stack. Oh, no, we're, we're, we've won before they're gonna reach us. Oh, hell yeah! Good. If you do win, that means they'll be the attacker once they do reach you. Which gives you an advantage, usually. Grand, well, we're trying, I'm, I'm pushing in the Dumfries. Right now, I'm emphasizing military power points. Should I take that off? Do I really need more military power right now? Uh, if you upgrade to level 4, that's a really great tech. No. If, no, if you yet. want a, an early war advantage, you should definitely go for level, uh, level okay. 4 military tech. Like, Doom could definitely use it right now. He would decimate the English if he had that right now. Well, sad Portugal, that I don't. Why are you talking oh. nevers? Oh, Portugal and England are allied. Uh oh. Neapolitan succession. Hmm. Hmm. I could also fight this guy. Get him! Get him, Taki! Do it. Carry me. I'm just sitting here looking at the pretty map. We will map paint everything. Well, maybe not the British maybe. Isles. They're looking kind of red. <laughs> yeah, they, they're maybe pushing eventually. in a bit. Yeah, a nice different shade of as red. Long as long as Doom kills off the English, I'll be happy so I can get more colonies for myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> French, France is also a colonizer, so you're not out of the water just yet, oh, even if the English get cut out. Oh, no. You'll be doing all, us, all of us a favor, I'm sure. Well, as long as Taki can form Italy and I can form Spain, we can probably tag team the French. Yeah, just give me like two minutes, easily. I'll, uh, I'll just inherit everything over here exactly. on the peninsula. No worries. Um, oh, England, can, we, can we peace out? <laughs> 
This is too much for me. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, they're just straight up ignoring your fort. Uh, your, uh, capital fort, rather. Yeah, they're just... They're just kind of walking around me now. Huh, is, you st should still have positive war score, right? Because... Uh, it's a thirteen percent, but if I try and like piece on myself, it's minus. Right, right, right. Uh, so well, the thing is, you probably you probably won't even collapse even after, even if you were to fully be sieged down, because France would still have more war score. They'd uh, they'd just be like, no, England, you will not take anything off of Scotland. Uh, killed many, many Scotlands. <laughs> But I didn't expect them to take Dumfries. Uh, they have a lot of troops just walking through my land right now. Just come to Lothian, that's where all the fun is. <laughs> Who would go up to Inverness? Come on. Just try to hold a Highland province or a Hill province or something. Oh, I think it's a little late for that. Should be... Oh, where are you? Oh, why are you all the way out there? Cool. I'm going to try to... Get my mission done first. So I can prepare the Reconquista. Dollar done. I'll I'll join you too. I'll I'll be fighting two at one, two people at once. <clears throat> I'm sure this will go well. Oh, War of the Roses. Uh oh. Oh, that's actually really good. This is your chance. Don't be too aggressive until they collapse a bit more. But they're they're gonna suffer a lot now. Oh, and a lot of their guys are in north. Wow, you just killed them all, Taki. Wow. Yeah, but Provence might come uh, after me. Actually, oh. no, they're finding English as well. You, that's a, you have an inspirational leader, huh? Inspirational. Oh, uh, is he? Oh, yeah. What is the People good like infantry to cavalry ratio for now? Like uh, Usually, it, it, it depends on what kind of people you're playing. But It says uh, the cavalry is not allowed to exceed 50% um, of your infantry. But usually, I'd say like just put four units in a in a decently sized so infantry just stack. Four divisions. I made seven infantry, three cavalry. Cause uh... yeah, that's not, that sounds pretty decent. But uh, try to keep uh, when possible. Try to keep it more even because they they uh, cavalry isn't particularly that much better than infantry. It's just they give you a flanking bonus when you outmaneuver or right. when you're a bigger army. So uh, just add like two to four maybe. In a, in a size, in an army that's the size of uh, of yours. Okay, that's pretty good now. Oh no! Oh yeah, I've lost. <laughs> I want to go to war with Granada, but I can't find you. Oh, oh, if you want, suck. If, <laughs> if you want, you can uh, fabricate a claim. Wait, I'll. I'll uh, are you still alive? Do you have anything left? No, I ha I literally have nothing left. Oh, I was gonna give you some money to hire maybe some mercs. Mercs are expensive. Yeah, uh, there's a siege in Lothian right now. Uh, you can give them Doom Freeze, Dumb Prize, or something maybe. No, well, I mean, you shouldn't. You shouldn't have to give anything yeah, away. Yeah, they're think. not doing well in the mainland either. So they'll 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 fall apart. It's just a shame you don't have any promises left. Actually, you still have a vassal, right? Oh no, never mind. Oh, they've just say, they've just stopped their siege in Lothian. I was wow. gonna say you can, you can recruit, recruit some boys in there because it's. This is what you were waiting for, for them to collapse by uh, by their own rebels. But they, they took Dumfries way too quickly. Don't know why. Doesn't really happen that way usually. Yes. Woohoo, I'm getting some mercenaries, yay. I need some babies. Just stay very defensive. Don't attack them until you have a tiny little stack and then just unseed your land whenever possible. Don't oh, take the battle to oh, Come on, I just get my 5k and then it just came back to siege again. <laughs> oh, for f No, Novgorod does not look good either. Well, they never really do. They just get destroyed by Muscovy and Denmark. So is there any way for me to get a baby faster or an heir? Because it says you, like, you need more prestige or something, but... Yeah, prestige helps. Uh, royal marriages helps as well. So er any ally that you have, marry them. So you don't waste any um, diplomatic relations. Well, Aragon, Portugal, 
Florence. Oh, I can't marry man. the Pope. I've tried, but... <laughs> we all have. I mean, who are your allies? Who else do you have? Portugal and Aragon. Marry... Uh, well, Portugal at least. They, they should be willing. Oh, no, right? I already have, yeah, I already have. And then if you, if you want, you can look up for some more allies. If you... Uh, over your uh, weapon crest, right? Uh, top right, or top left, rather. Yeah. There's like a, a hammer and a sword icon. You can click on that. Hammer and, and then sword. the second, the the red button, right? Right next to your uh, flag. Oh, the hammer and sword. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You click on that and you go to the second to last menu, diplomacy. Yeah. And then you can click on uh, alliance actions. Or dynastic actions, either one. And then you can see who's willing to royal marry you, who's willing to ally you, and then you can figure out who uh, I want but to... But do I um... really want more relations? I'm already maxed out. Oh, are you? Yeah. Do you have the, the relations that you have? Have you married them? Uh, well, the two I can, including not including you. Oh, right, right, right. I well, not support rebels. Who's 5,000 manpower? You'll you'll probably get a a, a baby soon. I mean, I can How marry old is Brittany, your boy? But I don't want to lose a dipple point. So. Mm -hmm. How old is your How old is your man? My dude is your, like man forty three. He's he's got some he's got some juice in his tank. I guess some squirt, but yeah. <laughs> he's got some some uh, some water in his squirt gun. I'm sure he's got a little bit of that uh, he'll Spanish be flare left in him. <laughs> Oh. No one wants to help me take out Granada. He's so far, Ah! If I call in Taki, he probably won't join. I mean, I'm oh, leaving no, your maybe. ally. Yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna slowly but surely destroy them. I can send you some more money, uh, Dune. I, d I do have a, a super P time here from England. What do they want? Uh, they were wanting me to renounce my claim on man. Um, Scotland and subjects give up all claims in England. And all, all treaties with France. Uh, pay. Oh, it's gone. I left it too long. That's it's fine. fine. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, I sent you some money. You should be able to survive it for now. Is it, Do you think it's worth for me to get an advisor? Like a national tax modifier advisor? Uh, it depends. Usually, what you what you want most out of them is their uh, diplo. Well, is their. Um, PowerPoints. That's the most important thing. Yeah. And then you can just look around. If, if you feel like you're lacking some points, like if you can't really hold on to technology, or if you're struggling with coring, then I'd say it's worth it. Or if you feel like your uh, inflation is naturally going up, then it might be for the best to get like a level one uh, inflation reduction this guy. guy. It's only one extra admin point. It costs 1.03 a month. 10% more tax would pretty much pay for him already. Yeah, it's worth it then, no. I'd say. Early. Usually if you can afford it, I, I, I'd say go for it. You never have enough points, anyway. See what happens if I don't get the money. It's about the same amount. And we get an extra double po admin point. Because I want to get to those ideas quickly. Hmm. Uh, I have none of my country left. I mean, if you want, you can peace out. But it, it, you can probably not lose anything if you stay in the war. I will not see Dumfries to you. No. <laughs> Decline. They're, they're still collapsing. <coughs> Thanks for the help, France. <laughs> Wait, what? They already have an heir. That's way too quickly. The French? No, the English. Oh. That means Why are the English doing everything so the quick? The English are doing everything right for I some reason. I royally married the wrong group. Oh, hey. baby. <laughs> Sure. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. You got you got royally fucked over. They've never done anything as remotely as productive have to, as they have today. Oh, Usually, what? everything should be grayed out. No, I am not accepting that peace deal. Keep asking for dumb peace all you want. <laughs> I shall fight on. We can say, still win I'm this. We can still win this. Hey, I'm making money now, right? It's all the yeah, I'm actually making 0 0.37. Oh, hell yeah. Here, I'll, I'll help you build up for when it's over. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank you. Well, this has been a lesson on how not to play the game. Well, <laughs>
You just got extremely unlucky, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, I just got pumped. When would it be good for me to attack Renata then? Just because my allies just don't want to come in. Uh, you, you should be able to take care of them on their own. Yeah, if, no, you, no. if you go to your coast, uh, Morocco should not really be able to land in the first place, and then you can just annex Granada. Hmm. And after oh, that, well, I'd say go after do. Morocco or Clemson, whichever one's go uh, as first. Or actually, maybe not Clemson because they are allied to the Ottomans. But Morocco's fair game. Mocha, if I can take out Granada, I think I think you'll be safe. <laughs> They're, they're, they're weak as shit. Just be careful, most of their provinces are mountain. So you don't want to attack them into their land. Let them come into your land and destroy their armies there. Hmm. Oh great, well, I've known that for when I was there. If, if, if you attack them into their mountain provinces, you'll get like a minus three yeah. roll on every attack. So I should allow them into Spain or Iberia first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you click on the province, you can see what kind of terrain there is. Yeah. You, uh, the ones around uh, Granada are all um, drylands, which is no water fire, oh. so that's fine. Or if they if they get out of the province, provided that it's, it doesn't have a fort, you can siege it down, even though it has mounds. Yeah. Because if it doesn't have a fort, the the one that suffers the penalty is the attacker. If it does have a fort, the one that suffers the penalty is the one that doesn't own the fort. I'm taking off my transports because I don't want to lose those transports. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, you should probably consolidate your uh, navy and in into a safe location. Should I just use Cause... the transport ships as like aggressive vehicles as well? Since Morocco's got uh, quite a few ships. It's usually not worth it. Actually, you don't even really need to deal with Morocco. I know, but they're allied Cons with Granada. Yeah, but they're they're across con they're across uh, the continent, right? They shouldn't be able to cross normally. Shouldn't be, especially able to. if you, if you siege down Jabal Tariq. They, they the only choice that they have is to either navally invade, which takes incredibly long and gives you more than enough time to actually you know move your troops to where they're needed, or they'll have to go and attack over the strait into a mountain province, which will probably be a minus four attack penalty. So you'll be able to defend that pretty damn easily. Do you think they'll be able to just wipe these out eventually? Oh yeah, definitely. If they, if they can't do anything, it's just a matter of time before they just uh, cool. give up. I want to go to war then. <laughs> yeah. And if you fully siege them down after like, I think two years, you get 100% anyway, even if the Moroccans still want to fight. Nice. <laughs> Can almost be south as well. Don't mind me, just waiting, waiting for my guys to get more morale. That's the word I'm looking for. Morale, morale, <laughs> morale, morale, morale. Where am I? Oh, oh no! At the time of this recording, it's Flavor Friday for Old World Blues. Major has been deleted from the store. Cool. No, that's what, is that, that's what you said. Where am I looking at? Oh no, it's a dev diary. Oh, even better. Ooh. Van Ooh. Buren's bounty. Ugh. Colorado. Nice. Do you follow those dev divers often? Or, uh, no, I, not I really. Not one of my Discord, them. one of my mods, like, linked me to it, so. Mm -hmm. One more month, then I'm gonna go to war with Granada and cause a whole ruckus. <laughs> Absolutely demolish him. Well, maybe Granada, maybe not Morocco. Alright, I've waited long enough. Does anyone want to join me, Pope? Actually, they have less... Guys, I don't care. I'm going in. Yo, I shall. Oh. I shall spectate your war. Oh, I can't actually see it. Can I? <laughs> unless you, uh, unless you ask for military access, in which case you should be able to. Yeah, here, give me, give me access, um, Mocha. I'm gonna block oh, you. Oh crap! I just lost trade ship. Oh, yep, forgot about that. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. How about we head on home? <laughs> oh crap! No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. <laughs> Other Oops. way. Everything's just going wrong today for some About reason. About face. <laughs> it's all right. I know they had a bigger navy, so. Yeah, that, that's why uh, you're like you, sh you shouldn't be uh, aggressive towards them. 
Because all you need is you declare for one of the provinces of Granada. So as long as you have it, you'll get a ticking war score. Excuse and naturally, you should time, exist. War score will go. Granada, four thousand infantry going to go die. Even though I'm attacking into mountains, whatever. I have triple their uh, numbers. Yeah, if you have triple, you should be able to do it. Oh, Hopefully. Dead. And then just hold that province so that Morocco can't really get to you. Okay, my ships. Oh, my ships. Oh, ships. Ships. I, I recommend movement. Get. Oh, How is this war still going on? Oh, <laughs> actually, we're still an enemy ship. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, there's some fighting in Don't come for you. Come on, Rebels. Do it someday. Play. I'll help you Don't out. Don't lose. This is for the freedom of Scotland. <laughs> Yes, they won! Right, now push into Scotland, please, and take my land back from me. I mean, they'll be controlled by rebels, so you still won't have control over your land. Ah, come on, I have money. I can hire mercenaries now. <laughs> I mean, you should be able to hire mercenaries in, in the Isles, right? Um, that. Scotland has no control over the Outer Hebrides. Oh. <gasps> Peace happened. Wait, 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 right, I've got to read this. What happened? Oh, you no. didn't even have to give up anything. We got the Isle of Man. Because you technically won. France owes me 18 favors. Because you helped out. Also, you got the Isle of Man, just yeah. like uh, Mr. Rocket said. You technically won. Yes. You, know, you, you lost you everything, but you won. I lost yeah. it all, but I gained everything. Since you didn't have to spend any money on the troops, you actually probably saved up a bit of money, so now you can actually rebuild. Nice. Well, first, thing, first things first, I have a rebel uprising. Potentially going to happen. Right. How, how, what's the percentage? Um, it's it's eighty percent. Uh, what's the unrest like in those Holy problems? Crap, how many people are fighting? Can you increase uh, autonomy? Um, it's one. They're one in lower taxes. It's the Scottish peasants. Taxes. Taxes. I mean, oh. Sadly, you can't lower taxes. Apparently, that's impossible in this game. Well, so, this what you can do years. is. Uh, well, it looks like I'm gonna hire some mercenaries. No, what, you, what you can do is actually just suppress them by lowering uh, the the um, progress by thirty percent, or you can give them autonomy. Oh yeah. Which um, provoke them. You know, provoke them. Makes them, which makes them less likely to rise up. <laughs> if you provoke, you can try to provoke them, but uh, that'd be um, probably a bad idea. Oh yeah, right now, yeah. There we go. I accepted the demands. Oh, they, they probably were like a give me autonomy, which is essentially the same thing. Oh, right, let's repay all of our loans. Let's just get that out of the way. Oh, my goodness. Yay, at least we got the Isle of Man. <laughs> Yay. Hell yeah. I can't believe that. <laughs> Ten army tradition. Yeah, it's probably worth it. I don't want any estate to have too low loyalty. So now the goal is for me to sit here. And hang out, right? Uh, so, you know, yeah. There's not really much I can do with them having a massive navy. I'm fighting like five people by myself, like Morocco, sus, kind of sus, American. Yeah, there, there, there's absolutely no point in you in you going into their lands. If you want, you can try and bait them into entering your lands. That's true. That's true. I'm gonna wait till one of these uh, castles are done being sieged down, though, probably. Yeah, this is probably for the best until they're both done. Then you can maybe put like a small stack. Of maybe four troops in Jabal Tariq, so they don't get stack wiped instantly. Yeah. And as soon as they show, show up, just run everyone else in there. So they suffer the uh, the penalty, yeah, yeah. but get the that's, that's army. That's a really good idea. It reminds me of Vicky too, like you know, late game, early twentieth century, especially like in yeah, Ireland. You just you just hold them there. Oh, mm -hmm. I lost the island. Oh, the island, the Grand Canaria. They actually invaded, huh? No. Oh, but that, that's totally fine. Yeah, that's that's a small loan. It's a hassle to defend anyway. You got the ticking war score because you uh, own the I'm property. Losing currently, no. Uh, minus three point six. Oh, it's because it's because you declared for Malacca or um, Gren Granada. Yeah. Right. Once you get them, it'll, oh, it'll yeah, take up. That'd be good. Yeah. No worries. <gasps> Yay! I've got one thousand men, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Yay! How is your war, proud of uh, Ducky? Oh, I've technically won. They just refuse to give up. Ah. Wait, when did you go to war? He's been giving you money since he's been at war. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is. Taki just be flexing. He is flexing. Dang. Rich man. No, oh, people have showed up since since the war is finally over in France. They're like, all right, now let me help out. 
So as good Christians, we must lead by example. We shall invite the Jews and other unbelievers to our land so that they may see the grace of Christian rule and accept the Lord into their hearts. I got, we got a golden bowl. Hell yeah. Got golden balls. Man, I want to be Curio Controller. I want to call for a crusade, man. I should have done that. Mm, you can do that by, you know, buying into the whole thing. Yeah, but that's Spending not money. Spending points. Yeah, it's not even a guarantee. <sighs> Big sadness. So, you gonna take over Ireland, uh -huh. right, dude? I'm not doing anything silly right now. Just I don't I don't have anything. I, I want to take over Ireland. I also you want to kill take over the Isles the, 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 off your coast. Oh wait, they're already at your vassal. Oh yeah, my vassal. That makes yeah, sense. They will be they will be going bye bye at some point. Make Ireland Scottish again. <laughs> yes. Permanent claim. Ooh. Cool. So since I'm just hanging out, there's not really much going on. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Good luck. Good, good luck. I mean, you never know. Maybe you'll fall in. It's dangerous to go alone. The Cod Wars. That's brilliant. <laughs> There's a lot of war lore in this game. So much lore. The deep implication of the Cod Wars. Well, do you know what? My, my first mission was so easy to do. The Old Alliance. Just ally France. Yay. And you succeeded. You were... That, that is the one thing I've done right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> you sure showed them. Absolutely. I mean, it's, what, it's the only thing that kept you alive. That, that's the best way to do a Scotland into the UK run. Just to rely on France. Yeah. At least for the first war. Yeah. Just to rely on the fact that they have to fight each other mm -hmm. by an event. After that, you can do it on your own easily, normally. Like I've I've done a Scotland campaign already. No, oh. it doesn't it doesn't take too too much effort once you know yeah. the game a bit to uh, actually win against them. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you come on, we need some more manpower. I think we might have to get some sleeves. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> here, I, I want to get to Africa, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can go have some fun in Africa so don't worry. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to visit Africa and get a little, uh, power, extra manpower. So, handy manpower. Some enthusiastic laborers. Yes. Yeah, let's do some manpower right now. Unpaid, uh, volunteer work. Mandatory not, volunteer work. There's nothing, there's nothing more noble than volunteer work. Yay, we have 3,000 oh, no. men there. There we go. I'm losing my yeah. great power status. Oh no, someone else gained it probably. I think. Who is it? Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, it's the Timurids. Oh, don't worry. They're, they're not gonna last. Timmy? They're not gonna. Lie. They're very unstable usually. See, if I'm to hire mercenaries, does it cost me any manpower? It doesn't cost you, but it's a lot more expensive. It's like three times the price. So if you have manpower, it's probably for the best to hire actual uh, boys. Hmm. Kind of not got any manpower right now. Oh. Going back to war, huh? Uh. You're still allied with France, so that's good. And Lithuania? Wait, aren't they under Poland yet? Apparently not. I have yeah, but allied up with Lithuania for no reason whatsoever. I mean, they're a good ally if they don't come into it. If they don't come under Poland. Well, and if they were a bit closer, of course. I don't. I doubt they'll actually be able to get to you. Mm. I've heard that, that if you like build a spy network in a nation that you're attacking. Does that mm -hmm. help you lower siege times? Yeah, it actually does. Yeah, that's what okay. I heard. So I'm like, okay, well, go back to infiltrating. It actually straight up does. It also helps uh, with um, aggressive expansion. If you have high uh, amount of um, spy power, mm -hmm. I don't know how you call it, mm -hmm. they're less. They they view you as less aggressive when you take away land from someone. Huh. 
So if you're planning to do a lot of uh, aggressive expansion and you know someone's going to get really pissed off, it might be for the best to, you know, raise up your spy power a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm yeah, not going to remember sure. that probably, but that's okay. <laughs> for a future campaign, maybe. Yeah. It's it's one of those things you, you just get used to it eventually. Okay. The thing is, for you, you just learn by doing. Well, I, I have learned. Like light. <laughs> I mean, you won your war. I, I haven't won mine just yet, so... Me too. Yeah, see, you, you're the most efficient one out of all of us. Yes, I just killed <laughs> thousands. I broke the war for broke you. They, that's basically like saying I broke their knuckles with my face. <laughs> Still refuses to give up. I can invest in new technology. Temples, really? Are temples even worth getting? Sometimes. Uh, they're probably so, no, for the missions, right? Yeah, or um, when you go to estates, you can summon a diet and uh, seize land, right? If you summon a diet, you give loyalty and influence to all your estates, and you also get a mission. Yeah. And depending on what that mission is, sometimes it's build a temple, sometimes it's lower your, um, aggress lower your um, overextension to zero or whatever, and you can get political power, you can get money, you can get manpower, depending on what it is. So it, it could be handy. Uh, one of these days I'll peace out. God damn it. Over. Oh. Cardinal Spirit is going to be over here. We can change the culture. How much would that cost? Oh, that's not bad. I want another base tax. Give me that base tax. Oh, it's even cheaper. Yeah, 40 dipple points. Yeah, I'm also do that. Get one more free base tax. Cool. So I took out oh. the capital. Oh, do we have a... We do have a tissue war score. Nice. 0. 0.8, not bad. Can I just say how much England are twats in this? <laughs> what are they doing? Well, I can't declare war to anybody else because they've warned me not to do so. Uh oh. Oh, right. You can uh... declare war on someone when uh, they don't border you. Or, they, or when they don't border the UK. That's how it used to... I, I think it's still how it used to work, but... For example, if you were to try and declare war on uh, Ty Tyre Connell, the light blue one, up in Northern Ireland, I think they won't be uh, get they won't get called in. If you click on the declare war button, you should be able to see whether or not. Oh you know, yes. They normally shouldn't be. It's uh, only against people that are border the UK. Well, uh, I think I the UK. He's got pale. I mean, England's got pale. That's why. Yeah, that's why. Hmm. You, okay, you should so be able to get a claim on, uh, on the light blue they one. They can't invade Gibraltar because Portugal owns Ceuta. Yeah, but they can get military access. Yeah. Hmm. And if they control the strait, they can actually move in through there. But, you know, that, that's totally fine if they try it. Because uh, if, if they attack you into Jabal, that's a mountain province, yeah. which is a very bad idea to attack. Yeah, I, I just built my guy into like 4,000 stack, 2 and 2. But mm -hmm. since they probably don't have military access, yeah, they probably won't ally, they probably won't give them military access. But you never know. Never yeah, know. if you were to ask Portugal military access, they would get access, though. So you do have to be careful of that kind of thing. Hmm. It's probably a bit bad to ask if we need to go to level three speed, but maybe my internet can't handle it. I mean, we can try. It'll bump us down, right? Yeah, it'll bump us down, hopefully. <laughs> we'll just get a notification. This guy can't handle it. He'll just get shamed by the game. <laughs> no. <laughs> this guy's computer's just too weak and pathetic to handle this game. Come Look on, at this ADTI, food. Come on. <laughs> uh, Good harvest. Invest the money. It's probably better to get admin points than anything else. Yeah. We can always make more money later on. Yeah, I usually go for the political power points. I don't even have a tech temple. I've heard the Scots do, but we don't. I, I don't think I have them either. Oh, no, I actually do. Jesus Christ. Aragon. Oh, Aragon's no longer considered a great power. 
I'm not oh. the only one. One day I will be a great power. One day. Probably because I have England. a lot of babies. Mm. Just keep having sex one day. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Can we have babies without doing that? Hmm. Uh, if you pray hard enough, All right, your neighbor will okay, come I'm in and fuck the wife for you. <laughs> oh, my royal, my royal marriage with Lithuania is gone. It's a sad day. I there can have, you can marry them again. Oh, we kind of like each other. Our neighbors are more... Yeah. Ten old <sighs> oh, finally. Oh, did you win? Fine. Yeah, they finally accept the fact that they no longer exist. <laughs> Took a long enough, but oh, Uh... Loco. I hope the Ottomans are at war with the Serbs. Wait, England only has 24,000 men? <gasps> yeah. They they got destroyed by France oh, oh. in the Second War. Oh, they're destroying the rebels now. I mean, if, if you're lucky, you can call in France eventually once the truce turns out. When does the truce run out? Ah, good. Come on, big Moroccan oh, it's boys. Oh, it's when the truce expires. Oh. How long? In f uh, 1461. Jeez, wow. yeah, you're better off going into Scotland, uh, into Ireland. Do yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm building up a navy from scratch because it died. Uh, I mean, if you can get access through Ulster and then access to Tyrone, you, you could be able to just walk in through there, right? Oh, my days. They're allowing me to walk in. <laughs> there will be blood. I have too many diplomatic relations. You, you can still go over, it just costs you diplomatic points if you do that. Hi there, folks. Just... Yep, let me come on through, please. Oh, take Donny Gall. I shall. <laughs> oh. What is happening? Uh, about to die. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just reading this thing. Do I want to increase base production or base tax more? Uh, it depends. If you want a short, a short answer, you could go into the production interface right next to your uh, All right, flag. Yeah. You can go down to a development, the fourth last one. It's like a map with a house in front of it. All right, yeah. Then you can go to the province it's talking about. Don't they can, freeze. Yeah, they can see the colors. There's, there's red, which is bad, orange, which is kind of bad, yellow, which is normal, and green, which is good. And then based on that, you can make a choice. Uh, we have the middle one is production, the left one is tax, and the right one is manpower. Okay, we're going for production. There we go. That's just, that's just the easy way, but there's, there's like many factors. Oh, God, the nobility is I was not paying attention. Uh, oh, talking about which province, uh, what kind of development is best for a certain province. Oh. You can look it up uh, in the develop, uh, in the develop pro uh, province um, well, tab. Isn't it like for trade good, you want to develop more production probably or something? Or? Uh, yeah, if, if it's a good trade good, yeah. but the simplified version is if, if you're not really sure uh, You can just look up the developed oh. province thingy oh, that... and then it has a color associated with how good it is oh, yeah. oh. Unbelievable what happened they, they... <laughs> They've blockaded me and um, They're over in my land now. Oh wait, we bet them. We bet them. Oh, yeah, you should be able to destroy them, right? You need some money? Oh, no, no, no. I'm so good. I'm still good with money. Right, can we now attack their guys? Why are we sieging their land? Is it possible to place Israel? Do they even have that tag in here? You can make Israel. Well, King... I think there was a decision for that. Oh, yeah. Once you own it. But I don't really remember. It's a tag. Okay. Or I think you can form it with uh, <clears throat> the knight, maybe, as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't they have like a special like yeah tree for that and really like the yeah 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 mm -hmm. that'd be kind of cool. 
Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things you can form in here. It's really cool. There's too many things you can form in here. What the heck is the own opal? Orgast? <laughs> opal. Brandenburg? Never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flippin' influenza. Seriously. It's alright. Scotland? It, it's fake news. They should just wear masks or something. Yeah, I've got to put them in the quarantine, basically. Take away my freedom. Gosh, you know it's bad when my little my, bad. It's than my me. freedom to not wear a mask and make everyone else sick instead. That is my freedom. Uh, Leinster became a vassal of England. Oh. Yeah, because it's so small oh, you that they them, basically huh? get bullied in, into oh, it. That's nice. Oh, well, I am Morocco. What the heck? I don't oh, know. oh, the yeah, the, are they falling apart? It looks like it. Oh, that would make a great opportunity to attack them then. Well, actually, no. You're you're already fine. There's oh, no I've point. got an air four two just, one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that's way better. Oh, that is indeed a baby. <laughs> Big old baby. We be making babies. Oh yeah. Why am I not sieging hell yet? Yeah. Oh, I'm not, not sure what your obsession is with babies, but you know what? I'm so I just needed it. an heir. Either the Pope was going to give me one of his, or... <laughs> give me one of your children. I know you keep them in the closet. I know you got a bunch of Ill illegitimate children, Pope <laughs> man. Just give me one. You have more than enough anyway. Sharing is caring. plenty of illegitimate children. I just asked for one. Just one. Innocentius? The... Eight? The Pope, innocent. Mm. Press X to doubt. Oh, and they got—they actually push our armies together. Oh, that sucks. All right. Trade power. Look at. Uh, I guess my trade power for now is fine. Slowly but surely getting more war score. War score. War score. Oh, my war exhaustion is getting kind of high, huh? How's my war yeah, exhaustion probably, going up? Blockade. Probably because they're blockading you. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, I it'll go down. Yeah, you can do that if it, if it becomes too unmanageable. Yeah, I'm gonna reduce it by two since it's two point seven five, so it's fine. Yeah, since it decreases uh, unrest. A government Dr reform. What should I do with a government reform? What are the options? Curtail noble privileges so you get more money and or more tax and less nobility influence, or strengthen noble privileges where you get more national manpower modifier. I'd say money. Oh, yeah, like Late that. game, you can just hire like a fuckload of mercenaries anyway. Cash is nice. Big I money. A... I need money to make colonies and um, That's true, yeah. hire African people for free. Oh, and they keep raiding the, off the coast of Morocco or Mercia. Yeah, you you can stop that by uh, privateering, but it's usually not really worth it. Yeah, it's better to actually just hire way more. more ships than I do. Ten, three. Uh... Uh, it's not really worth it, I think, to try oh to attack. Oh my days. I am just awful in this game. I have four galleons, or four heavy ships, or Ehrlich Carracks. Do you think I could d beat up 15 enemy ships? No. Straight up, no. 10 or light ships, so. Uh, Good yeah, luck. definitely not in that case. Good luck. I, I, I think it's not worth it, because even if you somehow were to win with a, with a lucky uh, draw, uh, you'd still lose ships, which would make you weaker against other people. <sighs> Makes me big sad. Navy is really expensive in this game huh. to maintain. You know, it's probably one of the games where actually the navy is super important. Yeah, you can even help out with sieges with that one. Nice. How's uh, Dune doing? Shite! <laughs> is it not working? No, well, I'm, I'm over here sitting in their land, and I'm not actually doing anything. Oh, are you... Wait, where are you? My vassal is literally the one saving me over here right now. Oh, are they sieging you down? They well, only have, like, less than 3,000 people sieging down your capital. How? Yeah, because my 5,000 are stuck over in Ireland. Oh, are you sieging them down? No, no, I'm not doing anything. Like, I'm just in their land, but I'm not doing anything. Hmm. Oh, are you black flagged? Is there a black uh, flag next to your thing? Yes. That means you're black flagged and you can't siege or interact with anyone. You, you should send them back to your own country. 
they will lose the black flag modifier and then you can actually use them as an army. Right now they're quote unquote fleeing. No army is allowed to attack them, but you can't attack any uh, yourself either. I was gonna say they're just sitting there like plebs. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were in the process of uh, sieging something. I was like, how come these people are sieging down your capital with that, that little amount? No, the, my vassal, the Isles, is doing better than me. <laughs> Oh, it's a sad day. Uh, apparently, Granada wanted a piece out, so I could take one piece of their land. Probably best to wait. Yeah, you might as well full annex them. You got the claims anyway. It's four pieces of land. And then you can continue your mission tree after that anyway. Actually, I need three more ships. You know what? So be it. That's going to be expensive. Granada. Granada, son. No. Granada, buddy, please help out. So, actually, the mission didn't even complete earlier when I had to basically complete Prepare Reconquista. Didn't happen. Ah. Oh, you didn't even do them? You don't, you don't have any clones on them? I thought I earlier. I thought I clicked on it because I had up yeah. at my, you know, limit for my navy, but... Oh, well. I'm making three more ships now anyways. It doesn't really matter. Hmm. Oh, sweet heavens. Munich. Well, at least England's not having a good time. Are they still... Yeah, they're still falling apart. <laughs> but I'm not doing any better. <laughs> I mean, you don't have rebels. Yeah, I don't... I don't have them yet. Where, where, Where's your army right now? Oh, noble family feud. Oh, Bugger off! My army is... Oh, great, we got rebels now. That, that's great. Wait, did it, someone actually spawn? Yeah, they're up in the aisles. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh. Well... Mm. Oh, crap, oh. I get corruption? No, no, oh, those no. Are, those are peasants. They'll, they'll uh, you know, bankrupt the aisles, but that's fine. That's not your problem. Do you, I don't actually have any way to get my guys back home. What do you mean? You can just walk them normally, right? No, they've, they've... I can't get across the bloody water. I mean, they're not black flag though. Uh, they're still black flag, right? Yes. So you should be able to walk them through. Well, uh, new, new, I cannot. Hmm. Uh, hmm. That's not how it's supposed to work. Yeah, um, I'm more... Yeah, right, there you go. I, I'll, I'll help you out with a, with a... You can build up a new army with this. Oh, thank you. Ooh, army professionalism. <laughs> you think I could just train my army here right now, just like as I'm waiting? I might as well. Oh yeah, I mean, if if they show up, you can stop the training. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to the Cordoba and train them. All right, have a good time, Pedro. Oh, fuck! I've got I got <laughs> excommunicated. Uh, what you do, man? Uh, just worship the devil. Oh, that's I don't all? know what. Okay. I don't Did know what they're probably one of his illegitimate sons or daughters. Maybe. Get excommunicated. Because they don't like me. Oh, that's sad. Oh no, Baloney doesn't like me anymore. Oh, you did declare a statute in restraint of appeals? Yeah. What does that even do? Oh, I wish I had a bloody navy. Oh, oh crap. Hold on. Oh, okay. Whew. Whew. There was that a battle was going on there. There was a little, uh rebellion happening so but they attacked the fort they attacked the capital so whoopsie doopsie yeah i'm like i want to get a cup of coffee but right now if they're gonna attack me like this hmm. i have a missionary oh i want to get to jerusalem then <laughs> oh I'll, um. that's good that's gonna take a while i feel like yeah it's gonna take me a while that's okay we've got time but first i gotta call in as a new world and France, can you come and help there me? There we please? go. I got an extra base tax in Vizcaya because I converted the culture. Yes. Uh, Aragon is oh, permanent claim. Mm. Oh, we're sucking so much ass. Oh. Oh, that's all right. That's why. That's why I didn't choose Scotland. Small nations for me right now. Nah, boy, no. Oh, just nations in general in this game for me. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll, we'll let you take uh, Muscovy or France. They, they should be fair. Yeah. And as France, you'll actually be able to easily defeat England. Um, wait, what? 
a beloved heir dies? What? Hunting accident. Uh... No, it just says he dies. Not even a hunting accident. Oh. A young maid catches your eyes. Oh, you bet I am. Young maid I'm 52 years old, but I love me some young maids. Hell yeah. So I either I, he, he dies and I get a church, or I get another heir that's actually better than this guy. Yeah, but he has a weak claim though, right? Yeah. That means your legitimacy is going to be pretty low. If you're willing to risk that, if, if he's good enough, I'd say take the heir. He's Otherwise, five, three, four, so that's not too bad. That's not the best. That's really good. Yeah. Legitimacy gets oh the well, claim yeah. That's a decent chunk above average. Yeah, that's the best person that we could find for now. <laughs> hey man, when that young maid catches my eye, it's just like mm, happens. She's about to catch something else, a pregnancy. <laughs> I got that disease called pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to give it to you. We share in this gift together. <laughs> oh, there goes Byzantium. Oh, so sad. Actually, they're getting taken out by Epirus. What the heck? Who's taking... Oh, no. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Th that's a new tag, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Epirus. We'll see. Maybe, maybe they can form Byzantium themselves. Why am I getting slapped on my Discord server? Slapped? Yeah, they one of my mods added a little uh, bot <laughs> anime. That slaps you. Slapper. Why are they slapping me? <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, this course is so confusing. There's a, a whole lot of bots, and I don't yeah. know what half of them do. I feel like such a boomer whenever I use Discord. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. I can fulfill my mission finally. Morale of armies and navies. I get a permanent claim on Granada. I completed it twice. Cool. High income? Ha! High income. We don't believe in that. High income. I'm dead. Wow. Wait, high... Hmm. Hmm. Claims in to... Recover Portugal. Oh, I'd love to have Portugal under me. Convert you Nigeria, can, yes. You could potentially get them as a personal union. Same oh. with Aragon. How do you do that? Is like, there any way you can influence that at all? Or? There's a mean time to happen it for that event. Usually what needs to happen also is your king, or I think your heir rather, needs to be a boy or a girl, but the other one has to be the opposite gender, so uh. they can marry. Then that happens, and then you have like one big kingdom, and you can just form Spain I diplomatically. Think Alfonso and Carlos are probably male names. Hmm. hmm. I mean, it's 1458. We we're, we allow that at this point. We're very progressive. Oh, Alfonso, bend over. I need to double check. <laughs> Maybe we can make him now. I'll give you the disease of pregnancy. <laughs> Granada. Either you're gonna die, or you're gonna die. There's no in between. Oh my days. Are you able to move across at this point? <laughs> nope. Need, need more money to build an army? Or boats? I need I need boats. They've, they're blockading me with eight ships. Oh, thank you. I am a sugar daddy. Sugar daddy tech. Oh, he is Italian, yeah. Hmm. Is, is that a thing for Italians being sugar daddies? I don't know. Got, I'm thinking of the Pope right now, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, let's go bankrupt making ships. Yay. What is this, Byzantium? No. Oh. That's the, isn't that a strategy? As Byzantium? Yeah, build a fuckload of ships. It doesn't matter if you go bankrupt afterwards, but you can actually destroy the Ottomans with a bit of luck in, um, in 1444. Nice. I've done it a few times as well, but the, the strategy keeps changing. Ah. So I haven't done it in like the last few updates. Now I need to get 10 prestige? Oh no. Well, we win the, no, I win the war, it should go okay. I wonder. Oh, my war's exhaustion is at minus one. Wait, what? 
What do you mean minus one? Hey, oh. She's not supposed to go. I know. It doesn't make any sense. I'm looking at the uh, thingy here. My work What's your point three nine? The work enthusiasm. More enthusiasm. Okay. Oh yeah, well that's fine. As long as you're since you're not the AI, it doesn't really matter to you. Oh, everyone else is low on the list for. Oh, hmm. oh are, are the other boys low? What you Everyone's can do is actually use separate, you can separate nice. piece them in that piece. Just piece out oh, Morocco. I can't take white piece. Ah. Oh, no. Peace out Morocco for a white piece. Just Morocco, not everyone. Can I do that with? Maybe if you go to Morocco and you go for a yeah, sue for peace. They're merely negotiating for themselves. Can I take anything from you? No. Yeah. Cool. Oh, peace so far. You can, uh, you know, you uh, need plus 10. See, this is why we got Taki here. He's teaching me all sorts of things that I'm well, not going to remember low, later on. You can just piece them out like that. and then oh, I'll just vassalize them. You'll have 100% probably. Oh, there yeah. You go. Oh, Mr. Krabs. I can feel it. You became a great power. Wait, I did? Mm -hmm. nice. Morocco just insulted me. It's because you're a great power. They're jealous. Go suck it, Morocco. Cool. Let's send some pirates around here. And then... Let's, oh, actually, I need you to send you guys back, actually. Now come back! Alright, protect trade. I only have 8 prestige. Can I get a little bit more? I can. Biting is not gay. What? 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 This is from my Discord server. What are they saying? I don't know. Uh, odds me, are weird. To, be, to be fair, yeah, to be fair, my Discord server is also very weird. I feel like that's everyone's Discord server. They, they say some outlandish shit, that, shit there sometimes. It wouldn't be Discord about random shite. Yeah. <laughs> War exhaustion's going no, down. I don't, I don't have enough admin right. points to lure, to core everything yet. I just save it up. War exhaustion also makes it more expensive, so you're better off waiting a bit. You can afford it. Cool, I'm gonna do army drilling with my general, I know, or my king. I know he can die from doing that. Ooh, Castilian Civil War. Yeah. Oops. Uh, what is that? What you the can heck is that? If you go to the stability expansion, yeah, I'm thinking, what are the conditions? Can we stop by? Currently in a disaster, is a lesser part in a u personal union. Castile's government is not monarchy. Okay, so basically it's gonna happen regardless. What oh, you should crap. do is make sure you're stable. Give autonomy to um, Granada so they don't revolt. Hi, friends. Would you like autonomy? And then just try rebuilding your army and make sure... Um, if possible, if there's a province that is not adjacent to a fort, but is mountainous, you can... You're best off uh, parking your troops in there, okay. or if if the well when the war spawns, you'll probably get an event that says uh, a rebel stack will spawn in this province, and you can move your boys preemptively over in there, and then click the event so that they spawn on you, and mm. they get the negative modifier instead of you oh, being a, the attack. That's really good. Yeah, that's actually really smart. I just. Try to clean up all the rebel stacks as soon as possible and bump up your stability afterwards. I mean, I, did, I basically lost like nobody in that war, so I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, are oh, you greedy prick? My ear just got greedy. <laughs> right, he do be greedy though. Fifteen year old and you're greedy. Well, you're <laughs> That's That's already young. Job, James. He did oh, lost the money. He's an embezzler anyways. Wow, corruption. Great. I've got seven years until the Civil War. That's alright. I did get a stability out of this, though. I forget what the event was, but I got one stability, so that's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to pee off the Pope, because I don't quite fancy 14 noble regiments rising up in Dumfries. Yeah, pee off the Pope. Yeah. Pee off the Pope. That's such yeah. a, that's yeah, such a great way of saying it. I didn't know you get that close to the Pope. Oh, wow! England okay. definitely sorted themselves out. I'm yeah, but they're they're it. in a bad position probably at this point. One point eight ducats a month. Ugh. It'd be a shame if a surge in Scotland was to strike. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Round two. I've got fourteen thousand on the border. Let's go. <sighs> right, I want to take Donny Gall. Hurry up and bomb my ships. The Pope answers only to God. Well, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I can like, have I... Pope points. I can get another stability. That sucks. Hell yeah. Imagine if the Pope was like, nah, I'm kind of an atheist. I don't really believe in God. I'm converting. I'm going to be an Orthodox <laughs> dude. They actually believe uh, in the Pastafarianism. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's see. Oh, maybe I should do the Pope stuff so I can reduce my inflation. 0.67 is not bad, though. 0.67 inflation. rest? Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I was going to say, if, if you have like 6% at that point, I'd be worried. Yeah. Diplomatic reputation, yearly... I'm mm, already getting a little bit more. I could probably wait. I could probably wait to get more prestige. What should I use my Pope points for? Maybe I just wait for stability. Mercantilism helps with trade if you don't really know what else to take. That's what I usually sink it in if I don't have anything that I really, really need. So, what does mercantilism do? I already have 12%. It gives you um, provincial trade power. Huh, okay. All right, I have 52% in Sevilla. Nice. Actually, I don't remember where it is that you can look it up. Where's the. Oh, there's mercantilism. It gives you embargo efficiency. Oh, yeah. Burger loyalty, which is one of your estates, as yeah. well as provincial trade power modifiers. So wait, Scotland has cancelled the rights to military access. They've been generously given. Right. I've got too many diplomatic relations. Oh yeah, cool. I lost the stability. No, I lost my heir. Oh no! Oh, I'm in. I'm waiting. Right. Till marriage? Oh god, the queen consort regent Maria de Trastamara, sixty-five-year-old woman. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go to war anytime soon. Which is fine, but... <sighs> Why did I go to war with these pranks? Hmm. There's no point in this. Spanish longbowmen? Yeah. Yes, please. Yas. Oh. Burgundy. What are you up to? What are you doing, Step Burgundy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, should I make Upper Andalusia a state? Wait, England only yes, has 19,000 yes. soldiers? That's, that's going to be 19,000? Yeah, they, they just got out Wait, of there. I can make the Paragon war. a junior partner. Well, I get volts, though. Worth it. They 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 become under you, and oh, they usually get a modifier. Talent. I get a stability? That sounds so much ah. better. Oh, that's funny. England wants... Oh, nice. Yeah, you're in Lovely. Oh, there you go. England wants military access. <laughs> it's a shame for you that they uh, they lost Naples before you got the marriage, because usually, usually Aragon starts with Naples as their PU partner. So if you got them while they still had that, you'd have both. We lost our nipples. Why? Nipples are gone. Free the nipple. I gotta give me some Italian nipples. Hold on. Dude, same. This quarantine's been messing with me. I need my Italian nipples. Ah, uh, these noble rebels. I'm coming with 30,000 guys. Come on, man. Are you even trying? Uh, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. I got some Aragonese people. I got some Sicilians. I got some Corsicans. Is that Corsica? I think it is. Very, di very diverse. Uh, now I'm going to feel real good about this. Pedro, continue training in Cordoba. You stay down in Gibraltar. Gibraltar. I really. Oh, I need to make Granada a core. A real core. Yeah. Once you statify it, you also need to pay the same amount. Like, it's it's 50% of the coring cost when it's, a, when it's mm. just a regular territory, and then it's 100% when it's, once it's a state. I can't. Re I want to get another advisor, an administrative advisor. I just can't afford it. Yeah, you're better off waiting in that case. You'll get points naturally, you'll just have to wait longer for it. But I, I want to find trade ships or colonies. Have you considered earning more money? I am have oh, 1.23 right now. That's not... James, you get worse and worse well, and worse. Well, that's the amount I get every month, just because, uh... I think one of these armies was hit or something. I don't know. Uh oh You require some money? No, I'm just oh. I'm just setting my fleet out to see if I can do some... Oh my god, they're shit. Yeah, don't send them out one by one. Just gather up, gather Where? them up. Oh my gosh, what? Are they? Oh, I actually hate this game. <laughs> what what kind of ships did you build? I built the same that they had, but they've just destroyed me because they just they just brought another ten out of nowhere. Can just, I just just, get... re just retreat them? Just retreat them. Oh, they're 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 dead now. Oh. You should I just have heard want what I was saying after recording some sessions. Woo! I'm like, I hate this guy. <laughs> I just uh, want to get them home. What's oh. what's the war enthusiasm of Desmond? 
Is it low? Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? Fuck it. Uh, um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> well, they are war with France and Burgundy, I think, and Flanders and Holland. Oh, you, 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 you're gonna use it as a, as a as a leverage to get more land and money, in order to uh, fight off your war in Donegal. Let's do this into Cumbria. Stuff, stuff oh, the that's, England. That's some big brain tactics right there, though. Well, they've only got they've only got seven k. Dude, that might actually work. I think that might actually work. What you're doing right now. As oh, stupid as it sounds, it let's actually go. might work. I see what you're doing, I see what you're I'm, doing. I'm doing some friendly expansion. Have you yeah. heard of our Lord and Savior, Florence? Well, I just, like, I'm just concerned because you could get a lot of aggressive expansion because Italian cities are so developed. Yeah, we are enlightened people over in here. Them with their universities and good music and pope and renaissance and pizza and venice and their oh yeah pizza yeah pasta and... oh pasta. <laughs> pasta pasta oh wait a minute why is donegal up there oh you little sneaky buggers what a bunch I mean, of irish folks what is going on with folk... portugal portugal what are you doing you uh, do, do you know what? Do you know what? what I'm gonna accept peace. It's gonna result in me losing my overlordship over the Isles, but I can actually get my guys back home. I mean, you have cores over the Isles, so you can technically just annex them once you declare war on them again. Yes, we can come over. Yes, all the troops. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got this. I believe in you. We got this. They've got fifteen thousand now. We need. Oh, Denmark's no longer. My... Okay, that's fine. Oh, the Isles kind of like me too. Huh. Hmm. It's baby time. <laughs> baby making time, hell yeah. Man, we should have like a baby for every year so that if we run out of one heir, we have another one literally a year younger. It's like a baby machine. Yeah, in theory that would work, but in practice we are so incestuous that we get born without a dick sometimes. It happens, you know, it's okay. I mean, or have you seen the chin of some of the Habsburg boys? Oh, there, yeah. give me some more oh, chin. You oh, can dig some holes with those. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. Siphon income? Yeah, I don't think. Oh. Hmm. It'll make them more disloyal. Yeah, I don't think it? so. Yeah, I don't think I'll do that. I, did, I, I didn't realize yes. I had Navarra as well. Can you be my sugar daddy, please? And give me some more. Money. Yeah, it's only twenty-five now, but if you give me a few months, I can save up some more. Because I just, I just made a church. So I need legitimacy and admin tech ten to storm Spain. Yes, give me a Spanish peoples. You must become more enlightened. Oh, Morocco is expanding as well. You know what? No, I, I want as much army, army professionalism as much as possible. So I'm gonna just drill the hell out of my army. Hell yeah! Okay. Drill them, daddy. <laughs> drill those Spanish general boys. Father, I require drilling. <laughs> <sighs> Well, so <laughs> let's get through this fort. Come on, we're... I can, you wait, can, I can rival the Ottomans. No, thank you. No. Uh -oh. oh wait, look, uh -oh. Burgundy invaded England. <laughs> uh oh no, Burgundy, you can bugger off. This is money line. I mean, they're they're never gonna take mainland. They they just want Artois probably. Good. Excellent. So you're you're safe. You can take as much as you want up oh. top. I, I, oh, come on, take the fort at Newcastle, please. I mean, it's it's still negative twenty eight, so you, you you still have to wait some, some few more months until. Oh, they're back at the twenty three thousand. That's fine. Burgundy's here. It's okay. Oh my Burgundy. god! Look at Portugal. <sighs> is Portugal dead? What 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 keeps happening? Is that France? Yeah. Why is France and Portugal? I thought we were friends, France. Nope. We are friends, but you just oh, they're, they're, oh, they're fighting oh, with lands too. <laughs> Portugal no, fighting where I'm drilling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's exercise and watch these people kill each other. Some entertainment value to be had there. Oh, they peaced out. Yeah. Yes, we're taking the fort. Oh, just ten, Fuck it. So cool. Yeah, go ahead, guys. Move on through. I'm. It. This is great entertainment. What is this? <laughs> Wait, France? Are you war? Is France or war England? They are. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This will give you the opportunity to, to attack him in the first place, probably. Excellent! We're taking the fort. Oh, I just had the ability to do more trade thingy. Oh, diplo points. It's fine. 
Uh, trade range would probably be helpful. Marketplace? That's probably pretty good to build in some locations. Actually, war taxes. Sorry, people, you need to get taxed to hell. So, Dune... Oh, not Dune, but uh, Taki, what is your opinion? Oh, wait, hold on, before you do that, uh, Morocco declared oh, war in Portugal. <laughs> it's their turn now. Yeah, they want Ceuta back, probably. Or, yeah, Ceuta. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, that, that might be a good thing for me, then, if they'd actually take that. Yeah, that, that means you can conquer it back off of them. Well, yeah, I can do that, and I can let them come over into Iberia again and kind of bait them into attacking me. Oh, hell yeah. France, can you bugger off? I'm doing this fighting. <laughs> France again, blue. God dang. Like, yeah, they're, they're reunited. All of their vassals. But Dune's not doing too bad. He has the fort already. Oh, yeah. Sunny muscles. Oh, I gotta convert you. Son, you're gonna get converted. Ha ha ha! He sounded like the oh, singer right. of one of the tunes here on EU4. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I was waiting. Oh, there's 13,000 coming. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh, no, no, no. Everyone, everyone merges one. Be, be very defensive, please. For the love of God. Uh, Taki. Uh, yes. Would you recommend that I embargo my rivals? Only your rivals, no one else. Okay. If you embargo other people, it's disadvantageous. Otherwise, no. Okay. Uh, you, oh, also get, oh, you also get power projection because of it, if you embargo your rivals. Cool, because I'm just doing that with Morocco and my rivals, yeah, just, just the rivals. Yeah, but once the, once they become too weak to be your rival, you should unembargo them. Oh, okay. Jesus, yeah. no, I keep walking into... Oh. France, stop walking away from the English, they're up here. You're doing really well, it looks like. Everyone's having a piece of that pie right there. Mm, maybe I should go to war then. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> you can stay away. Can I get whales? Wait, 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 wait. Is it your turn to get a piece of... Uh, uh, they're my rivals. They're literally my rivals, so... You could. Oh! Um, I, I, I would not recommend that. I'm quite against that idea. How, wait, how am I still losing this? How does it make any sense that I've not got positive... Hey, man. The last, I think Wales is Spanish. Always has been. Always has been. That's right. Always has been. Well, oh gosh. The older troops are kind of circling around now. Where did this army come from? They're back of the 26,000. Oh no. Boys, I think we might need to start running back north. Oh, the Renaissance. Aragon got the Renaissance. Hmm, I'm not making that much money, but I need more points. Ooh, four ducats a month is a bit much. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's return to Scotland. It's yeah, like, it's, it's best that you stay on the defensive over in there. You still have the fort anyway. I got church or cathedral in Granada. Ooh, free church. That's no, 100 no, no, ducats. I have to build it so I get a free base tax. Oh, definitely worth it. That's from the mission probably, right? From yeah. the estates? Oh, no, it's just from, uh, like, the little, uh, what is it, estates? Oh, France. Yeah. yeah. France, I'll come and help you. I do that all the time as well. Pay Never fear, friend. Back up is here. Go, go retreat now. Oh, Pedro. cool. Multi boy Pedro. France, you useless buggers. Oh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shit. You require additional funds. No, I'm just. Oh, I, I give up. I've just lost my army again. France retreated, and then I started fighting English, and then I died. Yeah. So I probably shouldn't go to war with England. I mean, he's doing still all right. He still has a fort, yeah, he's which is the important ten bit. plus. What oh. did you declare? Oh, I just declared a war on them. I didn't even actually put oh. any fun. Well, you should. Oh, you declared a war for Chester. That's why. All right. If you take Chester under your control, you'll get a taking war score. It's a shame it wasn't uh, the fort. That would have been uh, a better pick. Been really nice. <sighs> One second. There you go. Why, so thank you. Oh, France is CG down in London. That's kind of good. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, it's not kind of good because they screwed my army over. I was like, oh, I'll come and help you. Oh, nope, you'll retreat. Oh. France. Uh, yeah, it pays to be very defensive on your side. Be as cowardly as possible. Do not pick any fights. Take Chester and then we can... Oh, we're green. We're green. We're green. Peace deal. Right. Cool. Oh, I'll be right back. I want to get some coffee. I'll be back.
Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Why would I give you Dumfries, you fools? I'll take Cumbria, thanks. No, I'm not accepted. Accepted. Oh, how, how much? Able... How much war score do you have? One percent. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything oh, else. No, the only thing you could potentially take is a white piece. And that's only if their war uh, enthusiasm is low enough. Oh, okay. You need ten war score, which will get in time since you own Chester now, uh, to actually demand anything. Ah, uh, do you know what? I'm just going to peace out with them. <laughs> just fuck them over enough so that they don't really recover anymore. Well, your warning passed away now, probably, right? So, in in theory, you could probably go after Ulster if you can manage that. Uh, probably. You manage to cross cross uh the water. Um, I just want peace. Where's peace? You'll probably have to wait then, honestly, if you want to peace. What's their uh, enthusiasm? I'm not too sure. If you click on the war thingy, um, uh, the war tab that uh, puts both sides oh, there's, there's display. Medium. medium. Oh, yeah. You'll have to wait until they're low. Or you can just actually keep going until uh, you have some more war score build up. Because of the occupation, and just straight up demand something, because I don't think Eng England is guaranteed to lose pretty much every war they're in right now. They can't handle what they're dealing with right now. Let's also hope uh, the civil war for Castile doesn't spawn while he's away. Oh gosh, that'd be disastrous. Yeah, London is being... Yeah, everything is being sieged down. It's just a matter of time before the English troops are all decimated as well. They're all up at this fort right now. I mean, like, oh. their, their whole army is up at the fort sieging it. Yeah, but it's like at minus 57, so you've got more than enough time. France is going to come knocking very soon. Until then... Well, you, actually, no, 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 France up. has got, like, 27,000 guys over here, and they're not even doing anything. I mean, they're sieging down, right? They're, they're, they're at 21% on London, so they'll be way ahead of uh, of the UK. They're still at right. minus 49, so you should you be know, good. Do you know what? We're, we're going to split up into two small armies, and we're just going to run around neck and shit. It's taking over Wales, maybe? Oh, yeah. You got, four, you, you got 4% of war score, or 5% even. Mm. So you might be able to demand something very soon. I shall take Cumbria. Oh, 402 manpower. Thank you so much. Yeah, as long as they keep sieging and they don't have it, you know, covered just yet, you should be able to demand something nice. You might France. even take two provinces. Yeah, maybe even, might even get to Northumberland. Yeah, probably. That might be even a, a better pick than uh, Cumbria, considering it has a fort. And they'll oh, have to yeah. siege it down in a, in a future war. Right, France, can you just move north and obliterate the English now, please? You know. Oh, France is going in. They're oh, going yeah. in. They've run out of places to siege down, oh. probably. Oh, oh, they're getting screwed. Oh, they're on their, they're on their retreat. Oh, that's fine. Oh, oh, oh they're dying to... Um, Flanders now. Oh, and they're retreating north again. And, <laughs> and they're dead. They're dead. Stack wiped? Alright, you can see down the rest. Yay! Also, what, you, what you can do is, England has no provinces they can raise troops from right now, right? Yeah. If you're feeling risky, you can park one stacks on every province that France has currently occupied. So that when they peace out, you can instantly start the siege. Oh, they have enough guys for that. Right, one. But the, you you run the risk of, of uh, you know jump uh, getting into a, a fight with the eventual rebels if if they have a Whoa. rebel. What happened to England? England just lost their whole army. Yeah, they well, have nothing. Would you, you like to peace out? I shall take. Oh damn it! Cumbria is owned by. Oh my gosh! You can take a, a bunch right now, right? I could, I can take uh, Northumberland. I can't take Cumbria because the French oh, have it. Yeah. You, you only have ten percent war score, but that'll get up up in time. You've, you've got the ticking war score, so it'll increase. And in time, you should probably be able to get more land, even. Give me some more troops, please. Can't afford that. 
Yep, six more troops. Stuff it. I might go bankrupt. Who oh, cares? Oh, France pieced out. You can quickly siege down the province that they own right now. Oh, they're still at war with Thingy as well. Um, oh, they pieced out France, huh? Oh. Yeah. But it's good that they're still at war. That means if they try to raise up another another star stack, you should be safe. Wait. France owns Kent. I've never seen oh. that happen. Hmm. France. France. Why have you taken Kent? That's now actually we... that's actually a decently good thing for you if you want to take Kent, because there's no way they're gonna keep an army over in there. Which means if you want to take over Kent, you can declare war for Kent, get the taking war score, and they'll have no way of actually making a landing. I oh. can't justify on a piece of English territory. <laughs> I oh, to England's offering me a peace deal. White peace? <laughs> no! Get in the bin! Get away with that! No they can be quite possible neighboring province to fabricate a claim on? Hey, why you break my heart, man? You can declare war without a CB if you want to. Yeah, but that's got stability, man. Oh, there's a thousand men. They've raised an army. I can go to war for, like, humiliate rival, but I can't take anything, which is like... Yeah, you have to you have to occupy their capital to get the taking war score for that, which is going to be difficult. Yeah, that sucks. Right, three thousand against one thousand. I like our chances. I'm sure it'll work out. Wait, a regency, man. Old mama died. Actually, regency is pretty not bad. Four one five. Okay. Yeah, it's above average. That's not bad. Oh. Wait, let's let's see what I can do now. I've got nineteen percent. What can I take? Hmm. That is not to my liking. Can you take Cumbria and Northumberland? I can, but would you like three provinces? I would like a little bit more. I mean, un until they rebuild their army, you can probably wait for the ticking war score a bit more. Oh. Huh. You got 20% now. Alright, it's time to go to war again. Who are you taking out? Oh. Lucka. Lucka or Luka? We will expand. Luck. Uh, I think it's Lucka. I, I actually don't know, to be perfectly honest. Ah, oh, there we go. I just want a next national idea. I guess it will dipple points too to get to exploration. How much is it yeah. for every little idea? 400 is the base. Oh, but there's oh, there's God. some things that can increase it or decrease it depending on what. Oh, baby, that's a lot. It is. Man, ideas are expensive. And my disaster went away. I'm not sure what happened to it, but it went away. Yes, we won the Battle of Shrewsbury. Yay. You have destroyed the magnificent English army. Oh, they've got 3,000 up in Cumbria. Okay, do, do as you please up there, I guess. Oh. Watch out that they don't take Chester, though. If they do, you lose the taking war score. Oh, they're... Wait, are they landing in... They're not landing in Scotland. Oh, you got 23. Well, what are you able to take with this? Let's have a wee look, shall we? I can still only take two bits. Oh, England's off me a peace deal. What are they willing to do for me? They just want to give me money. No! <laughs> Don't. Gosh, the English are always trying to... The AI can be quite Chill. insulting sometimes. Woo. I can actually move back into Cumbria. I guess I'll start siege in London. Oh. Rebels. Oh boy. Wait, for you or me or for him? Dude. Oh, for me. Oh. I, I can't I can't see your guys as rebels because I don't have access. But the rebels are dead. So we good. Oh, we won the Battle of Cornwall. Sounds kinda corny. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry. That was Got him. It was, but I think everyone would have made it. God, that's such a yellow England. And slightly yeah. Such. Oh, we're at 27%. What can I take now? Everything. Are you serious? I can take Scarborough! Yay! Is that where they have fairs? 
Scarborough Affairs? Yeah, uh, it used to have a decent beach, actually. Huh. Because he's a tune, Scarborough Affairs. So. Um, I shall also take some money. 22. Yay, I'll take... And then they'll come yeah. back even stronger. Oh, there goes my legitimacy. I was going way, way down. Oh, it's because of the Regency. Anyone get, want to get married? Um, yeah, I'm down for some marriage. If, if you send me a, an offer. John, let's continue. Actually, we, we, we can do this. Oh, you, you mind you sending me the, the meat? The, uh, mind sending me an, an alliance offer, by the way? Uh, oh, okay. I would like to use your. I, I would like to use your size to scare off um, a coalition because I wasn't paying attention. That's right. I got a. Uh, I got some big size. Oh, thank you. They'll probably go away as soon as they realize I have a big boy supporting me. Even though the big boy doesn't really know what to do exactly, but that's okay. I mean, if if there comes a coalition where you can just refuse, that's fine. I just need your size, sizable army to uh, deter anyone from declaring war on me. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do have a above average size. Yeah, I'm just really hurt by my legitimacy. It's minus 1.54 every year. Damn. Oh, it's because you have a regency. Once uh, it's gone, the re legitimacy will reset towards the... You know, claiming strength of your air. Yeah. And then it should be good. So if it's uh, a strong air, at, then it's going to be 100. Well, he's weak, but at what um, oh, then. age do we be. Does the guy become an air or leader? 15? Oh, God, no. How long is it? He's only 11. Uh, four years. But if, if you have an um, a queen regency, then she you can still declare already. already. <laughs> she was oh, 65. Well, then, <laughs> then you <can't> <laughs> Uh, You're stuck for now, unless someone declares war on you. Maybe, maybe a coalition war would be a good thing then. Uh -oh. Can I peace out, Ulster? They're taking, they're sieging Dumfries. Can we, can we peace out? Why would I give them Ayrshire? Can I provoke a revolt? Okay. I could. Fifteen regiments, but where would they spawn? In Almeria. Uh, ah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna provoke them. You wanna rise up? All right. Gamers rise up. Grenadins rise up. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, you got twenty-eight percent. Hmm. No, uh, Dune has twenty-seven percent. Yeah, twenty-seven. Yeah, Do you, I think it's, I think it's best if you uh, peace out now, because they're gonna rebuild an army. It's gonna end up being bigger than yours probably, because they still have the most development. Yoink. And that's oh, why it's good to have a lot of babies. Wait, what? And that is a new Scotland. Borders wow. looking weird, no? I yeah. actually done something. Yay! Northern England? I think you mean Southern Scotland. Huh. <laughs> yeah, Southern Scotland now. Make core, make core, make core. Oh, you did have on that. Corruption is growing. Oh, that's because we're fucking... Oh, yeah. Dick. If, if you're willing to put some money into it, you can root out corruption a bit more aggressively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way, sucks. it'll stay at zero. Um, and once your cores are finished, you'll have to spend less on corruption anyway. So it's gonna, you know, automatically adjust. You got I usually just have... Huh? I usually just have root out corruption at max. Anyway. That's expensive. That's extremely expensive. I mean, only when you're coring a lot of land at the same time. Huh. Right now, I'm, I'm not paying anything. Wait, Portugal's still at war with Morocco. Wow. Come on, Portugal. Yay! Oh, I love how my only rival now is England. That's my only choice. <laughs> Alright, let's piss him off. Oh, they, oh, they went to Granada. instead. Of oh, I can choose an idea group. What do I want to choose? Uh, you planning on colonizing? I, I'm just, I don't know, I'm not really planning anything, just not die. Uh, maybe a decent one. Oh, oh that's I'm probably... this battle? I'm out of morale. Yeah, that sucks. Well, I'd say maybe a diplomatic would be a decent one, I guess. Diplomatic ideas, oh, okay. It's a, it's a safe one. And it's very, you know, broad, so you'll always have something I useful in there. And I couldn't put it down. Oh, no. I'm losing money because I don't. I'm trying to. Oh. Ah, uh, 
If only I had Yorkshire, the, uh, the East and West Midlands under my control, I could do advance the frontier mission. Oh, oh, did I pause it? Yeah, it says you did. Oh, oh, dude, oh, lagging dude, behind? Lagging behind. Oh, that's why. Oh, oh gosh. Well, oh. I could do Wi Fi's here. Well, well, it's lower down to uh, speed two, so that should be fine. Should be. I mean, right, if you yeah. die, we die. How, how do I deal with um, corruption? Uh, you go to your trade tab, economy tab, rather. Right. If you open your uh, flag, economy tab, then uh, one of the sliders, the third one, is the root out corruption. Ah, Just crank yes. it all the way up to the right. It's going to cost you a bit, but once the cores are done, it's going to cost you pretty much nothing. Correct. Do you know what? Might as well just mothball the forts for now. Plop. Oh, crap. I didn't realize they were attacking me, but now they have a penalty. It's good. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much dead. Uh, are you getting any claims on um, Morocco, by the way? Uh, either through, well, you could, either through uh, the tree probably, or you can claim them on your own. I don't know if you know how to do that. Let's see. Oh, I'm building this network over there. That's fine. Let me do that all the way. Um, let's see. Let's see. Missions. Okay. Because it's a decent jumping off point. They got some decent provinces here and there. Convert Iberia, which we're trying to do. Oh, yeah, I actually get North Morocco after I do that. Oh, there, there we go. A permanent claim on North Morocco once I convert to this area, so it's just taking a while to convert. There, oh, are you manually converting it, maybe? Uh, is there an, an event to not convert? There's there's usually an event, uh, when I played it last, that automatically converts all three of them. Maybe? Uh, happen, maybe? Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's usually very tough to convert uh, Sunni provinces right away. I don't know yeah. if you're actually able to. I converted one. I'm, I'm in the middle of converting another one. Oh, here. you're actually able to. Damn, that's impressive. Well, I got uh, Ignacio here, Ignacio, who's a administrative person, so. Ah, uh, right, right, right. So. Well, in that case, that should be fine then. Just takes time. I mean, was it 1492? Columbus sailed the ocean blue, so I'll... Mm -hmm. not quite there yet, but we'll get working on it. Again there. Have you, have you finished up? Well, how, how far along are you towards your first ID group? Uh, I have 583 admin points, and I am like 70 away from getting the national idea. Five, yeah, level five. So oh, no, 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 the the ID group itself. Um, for the exploration or expansion. Oh, I haven't even got a national idea yet. Oh, well, the first one uh, gives you uh, the ability to hire explorers, yeah. and that's what. Allows you to actually discover in America, so yeah. still have some time for that one. Oh no, once I, I'm saving my diplo points for that immediately. Just I gotta wait. Oh, well, America's too huh? Cool. I'm just waiting. To get, uh oh, oh sorry. I didn't do it. Don't blame me. How, I didn't, didn't mean to do it. How dare you? I can't. Oh, Go back to with Ireland. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Not doing that yet. I'm going after the islands, the isles rather. Yeah, well, as soon as your uh, truce probably runs out. How long is it? Oh, eight yeah. years. Eight years off. Hmm. Get in the bin. What happens if I just declare war on them now? Uh, you get oh, minus the ability. And 143 aggressive. Expansion yeah. People are going to be very pissed off at you. Probably join a coalition. Oh, yep, yeah, let's, let's imagine that. A coalition against Scotland. <laughs> After all of their aggressive expansion. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Now, you're, you're probably oh, better off yeah. still. Rebuilding your navy right now and uh, actually forcing through um, into Ireland because you, you should be able to do it. You just need a bit of a navy. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm afraid I'm actually out of time. Very I'm out of time. They want I'm to out. rise up in Almeria. Last time I provoked him, it didn't go so well for me. But hmm. Okay. <laughs> Famous last words. What could possibly go wrong? I was gonna say you get pregnant, but I don't think that's gonna apply. No, that's only when the Pope is involved. Yeah. We've been over this before. Oh yeah, I have 92 Pope points. Good old Pope points. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to go now. So, oh. yeah, feel, feel, feel free to go on. I haven't that's really okay, done. we can pause, we can do it again some other time, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll save it up. One up where cool. you guys are down with that. Awesome, catch y'all later who are watching.